Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Borderlands 3 save editor made from Dark Health. It just came out recently. Uh, hopefully this guide will serve as an introduction to it if you um, have never used the save editor before. And if you have used the Borderlands save editor before, then I guess this is more of a announcement or just reminder that it exists. But anyway, I'm going to leave a link in the video description for this GitHub page. Uh, where you can find the save editor. All you have to do is scroll down here where it says installation slash usage and click on this little link right here. Once you click it, it will download the file and then when you click on the downloaded file, it'll look like this in your downloads. Once you're here, all you have to do is double click this and Windows Defender is gonna warn you about this, but don't worry. Just click on more info and then click on run anyway. This isn't gonna do any harm to your computer, trust me. And then this is basically the save editor. Now in order to start using it, you're going to want to import your save. So click on the open button that's up here in the top left, and then this will take you to the folder where all your saves are stored in. If for some reason you don't have access to this folder right away, if it doesn't open it right away, by default your saves are saved in your documents uh, tab, and then in a folder called my games, and there you will find Borderlands 3, saved, save games, and then you will find the folder with your saves. So just to kind of show you guys, here is my Amara save, this is my main Amara save. And once you double click it and open it, you can go to general, and here you can see the save game slot if you wanted to change this for some reason. Uh, you can see your time played. And then in the character tab, you can edit the class that it is, you can edit the level that you are, you can uh, give yourself more skill points if you wanted to. And most importantly, you can also skip the first playthrough. By clicking on two playthroughs completed, you can actually just completely bypass doing the horrible campaign and just actually play the enjoyable parts of the game. You can also change your character name here, your skin, your hat, uh, as well as the colors. It doesn't seem like you can change the body though, but you know, that's fine. All the bodies are DLC anyway, so I assume that's why not. Anyway, you can change your money and iridium amount here if you wanted to. Um, and you can also change what things you have unlocked. So this is obviously story stuff. All of this should be unlocked if you do skip the playthroughs. So this is pretty generic. Um, you can also change the fast travel locations that you have unlocked or not. Some of them that are in here aren't actually like supposed to be accessed all the time. And you can also choose the type of playthrough that they are unlocked at, but you know. Probably just, you know, TVHM. Okay, but now on to the meat and the reason why people are mainly going to want to use this. Uh, it's going to be the item editor. So here you can actually create your own original items. And in order to do that, that would take, like, to explain basically how it works. It would take quite a while. But I will be leaving two links in the video description alongside the GitHub link. One for Loot Lemon. This is basically a gigantic Borderlands database. This will show you all the parts and everything you would ever need to know about anything in Borderlands 3. So for example, if we go to shields and we, let's just say, click on a revolter shield, here it will tell you the description of what it does, where it drops, but more importantly for the save editor, it'll show you if it can roll anoints, it'll show you the possible weapon part or shield parts, I guess, um, and also the elements that it will have resistances to. So in this case, it only has, and it only rolls with elemental resistance. It will always roll with this, it'll never be without it or with a different element. And if you come over here to the Augments tab, this is basically what you see here. You see Absorb, Absorb, Absorb. These are those parts. So you can see here what each one does and what it is called. So you can kind of custom pick the ones that you actually want and make your Dream Revolter Shield. So let's just say that we were going to shove this into our save editor and create a new one. You can just click on copy item code right here, go back to your save editor and click on paste code. This is going to spawn a brand new revolter shield right here. And as you can see, it is the triple absorb that they are showcasing here. Now, let's just say that you wanted to have an absorb fleet because as you can see here, the first two levels of absorb give you 15%, but the last level kind of has diminishing returns. It only gives you 10%. So let's just say that instead you want 10% more move speed. So you want fleet. These are basically all the parts that are on the shield right now. 
and these are all the parts that you can actually put on the shield. So in this case, since I want to change the augment, we can just go to part, shield, aug, and then look for fleet. So in this case, there's a part, shield, aug. We have absorb adaptive adrenaline amp. That is not what we're looking for. And then here you can see fleet. So once you've done that, you basically have just modified and created your dream uh, revolter <laughs> shield, I guess. Another really nice thing you can do is you can actually sync equipped and sync all items. This is basically going to make everything the exact same level. So if you have something that you like, but you know, you've out leveled it, now you can kind of bring it up to speed and not have to farm it again. And uh, that was a, you know, quick example on the shield, but let's just say you want, uh, you know, just for demonstration's sake, a uh, weapon, let's just pick a random weapon here. Uh, the face puncher, here we go. So, this is a times 7 face puncher, as you can see here, which is kind of whack. We do want to have the max projectile, so you can see here, listed projectiles, either 7 or 14, and this will consume either 1 or 2 ammo per shot, obviously 7 pellets means 1, and 2 uh, ammo per shot means 14 pellets. And then we're going to take a look at the parts here and see which part actually gives it more projectiles. And as you can see, it's the grip. If you have the first grip, it'll give you times 2 projectiles plus 1 shot cost. So let's copy this item code, shove it in here, go to weapons, and there you can see deep dive face puncher, and then we're going to look for the grip. And as you can see, it actually has grip one. So for some reason, this one, this photo here shows a different uh, face puncher. So it's important that you do actually make sure that, you know, it has, you know, what you actually want. Now, on the right side of it, this is where the anointments are. So, for both shields and weapons, you'll see that the mayhem level of what the weapon actually dropped at is technically an anointment. But, if you want to add a, you know, real anointment, like, let's just say, uh, slam damage, click on the little button that says add at the bottom here. Oh, I did it twice by accident, sorry. But anyway, here you can see all of the possible anointments. This is going to show you all the anointments. Uh, as we all know, not every single weapon can spawn with every single anointment. But in this case, just try to look for the ones specifically that you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for uh, Siren Slam Weapon Damage. This will give you the 300% weapon damage after you use uh, Face Slam. That's not what we're looking for, though. We're looking for uh, slam damage itself. Sadly, there is no uh, control search feature that would make this a lot easier to navigate. But here you can see G Part Siren Face Slam Damage. You click on this, and then boom. Now it has the uh, Face Slam and related action skill damage anointments. And that is basically how you use this editor, guys. Uh, you can also click, I definitely recommend that you click this because this will save you from making weapons that aren't possible and this might crash your game or fuck up your save file because the sanity check of the game won't let it go through. So I definitely recommend that you keep that box ticked. But yeah, uh, that's, that's really it. If you want to see what the parts do, like I said, all the information is right here on Loot Lemon. If you want to make your own Weapon though, I will also leave a link in the description to this spreadsheet which shows all of the manufacturers, the weapons that they make, as well as the parts. So for example, if you wanted to make a Jacobs Assault Rifle, you go Jacobs, Assault Rifles, click here, click here. And this is going to show you what all the parts are, the positives that they have, the negatives they have, uh, what they will be called depending on what you use. Obviously the ones that say do not remove, do not remove <laughs> from... Uh, the list of parts otherwise the weapon will just not work and yeah so you can use this little compendium here to make your own weapons or edit them but for the most part you can just use loot lemon and look at the parts and choose the ones that you actually want from the list on the left and then you can just look for the anointments that you actually want on the right so one last thing i want to show about the save editor that you can actually do is actually edit your profile, which is a separate save. So wherever you find your save files, you'll also see this item called profile.sav. Click on it, click open, and then you will be able to click on inventory. And this is basically your bank. So everything in your bank, you can also sync all, and uh, it'll ask you what level you want to sync all the items to. So you can do that as well. 
and then you can edit the items in here the same way that we did earlier uh, as well. But more importantly, you can click on profile and then here you can actually change your guardian tokens. Um, you can edit your guardian rank, what stats you want for each thing. Uh, you can also clear your lost loot if that annoys you. You can delete everything in your bank if you wanted to. You can inject more guardian rank. Um, and you can actually unlock all of the room decorations as well as all the customizations. Uh, you can lock them as well if you so wish. Uh, but you can also give yourself guardian tokens, uh, guardian rank, guardian XP, all this kind of stuff. You can do it by modifying your profile. Also, something I forgot to mention is that once you're done, you know, adding and finicking with everything that you want to change, just make sure you click on save. This will overwrite your original save so i highly recommend that you guys make some backups of your saves just in case but you can also just save this as a different save so for example you can click on save as click here and then click on you know i don't know 42069 comedy you know and then boom there you go now i have an extra save that's all that has these changes so i can leave my original save completely uh, untouched and just, I now have this save. So I highly recommend you guys do either one of those things. Anyways, that is going to be it, guys. Like I said, I will be leaving a link in the description to this GitHub page, as well as Loot Lemon and this uh, spreadsheet. So yeah, hopefully uh, this helps you guys out. And uh, feel free to experiment. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll reply to any of them. Or just drop by the Discord and DM me or post a uh, question general chat. I'm all there all the time. So yeah, thank you so much to From Dark Hell for this. This is really awesome. And I'm looking forward to the project's uh, progress in the future. And I will see you guys later. Take care.